Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are talking about constants. Yay! That's going to be super fun. Let's talk about it. We are going to show a quick mini lesson about what constants are, and we'll do some practice and a word problem, because everybody loves word problems. Let's get into our mini lesson. When we want to talk about constants, we usually have a table involved. Sometimes the table has three columns like this, and sometimes it'll look different. I'll show you a different example later on. But when you have a constant um, table like this, you'll usually be given two of the three sections. And this is how it would look. If you were given this list of times three, that means times three, that dot, is often used to mean multiplication. So we have five over here, times three is going to give us some kind of new number. Four times three, three times three, etc., all the way down. We even have a decimal at the bottom, 0.25 times three. So three is our constant. And when we multiply our x value times our constant, we'll get a new number. And that is the basics of what a constant is. All right, that's how it works. That's how it looks. It's just basic multiplication. Um, if you're given the constant and you're given one number, you use this equation. Our y value is equal to the constant, which for some reason is called k, times x, our original number. And then you'll get the new number. On the other hand, if you are not given the constant, but you're given your x value and you're given your y value, when you're asked to find what is the constant between them, you'll use a slightly different equation. And that equation would look like this. You take your y value divided by your x value, and that will give you your constant. Notice I did not use the number 0, because that's not going to help us find our constant. Any number times 0 gives us a new value of 0. So that's the one that wouldn't be helpful. Other than that, you can go through this list, and every single number on the far right side divided by your x value on the left will give you the same constant value. Let me show you another example. If I were to pick the very bottom row, 16 divided by 8 gives me 2. Again, my constant is constant. It's the same. And that's what's great about constants, is that they will be consistently the same. So we know that we multiplied every number, um, every x value times our constant of 2 to get our y values that you see there. In conclusion, if you are not given the constant, there's the equation to find the constant. The constant, again, k, is equal to your y value divided by your x value. Pretty straightforward. Now let's do some practice. This is the other type of table that you might be given. A table where you're told an x value, you're told a y value, and you're not given the constant, and then you have some missing x values and some missing y values. This is a very common question with constants. So let's do it. First off, we have to find the constant. And we can use the one, um, one column we have there, 1 and 15 is the only one that gives us both numbers, both the x value and the y value. So that's the one we're going to have to use to find our constant. We'll take our y value divided by our x value, or 15 divided by 1 gives us 15. 15 is our constant. Now we can find any other y value using that equation. y is equal to our constant times our x value. We should be able to fill in most of the rest of this column. Let's get that out of the way and just show some of the math. We're going to do um, 15 times 0. That will give us 0, so we can fill that in. Uh, 15 times 2, that gives us 30, so we could fill that one in. 15 times 4, that would give us 60, so we can fill that one in. Um, and 15 times 7 gives us 105. We can fill that one in. Again, the equation we used for this is our y value is equal to the constant times our x value. Now we're going to do something and try and figure out the numbers in our x column. 
This is different. So any x value, in this case time, can be calculated using this equation. Our x value is y divided by k. And we know our constant, k, is equal to 15. So let's do it. What is 45 divided by 15? That's 3, so that's going to go up there. And what is 75 divided by 15? That's 5. It's going to go there. That one I, I gave us a bit of a gap, you know, between 4 and 7 somewhere. Um, just so we, maybe it was 6, I don't know. Uh, but we had to use math to calculate it, so that worked out well. Again, the equation for finding your x value is x is equal to our y value divided by k. Here's a practice table. This is a very large table with lots of information on it. Using those two equations, well, the three equations I've given you, you should be able to calculate the constant, then fill in the chart with all the information that you need. You should be able to fill in all of your y values, and the constant's going to be the same straight down. So I want you to pause the recording and try this one out. Give it a shot. Hello? How are you doing? What did you get for your constant? Remember, your constant is the y value divided by the x value. Did you get 0 0.62? I hope so. All right. That should be your constant value. And now, if you multiply straight across, you can find all your y values. Remember, a y is x, or your constant, times x. So try it. Again, you should have gotten these numbers. I'm just kind of showing you straight across there. Those equations, that is the completed table. And I discovered it using these two equations. First off, we calculated the constant, which was y divided by x. And then we found our y values by doing the constant times our x value. And that was it. Those are the two equations that we use to fill out all of this table. And most questions with constants will fall into using those two equations. But I also I showed you the x one as well, because you might need to use that one from time to time as well. Now we come to the word problem. Yay, word problem time. Here's our word problem. <clears throat> Kaz shot, shoots, man, now I have to start over. Kaz shoots 22 arrows every four minutes. How long does it take him to shoot 50 arrows? And what is his rate per minute? Interesting, two different questions. How long does it take him to shoot 50 arrows? And what is his rate per minute? I want you to pause the video. I want you to try this one out on your, on your own. If you're completely confused and don't know how to start, watch a little bit of my solution until I get you started and then try it on your own. You're going to learn more by doing this on your own than by watching me do it. Trust me. I can watch people do the Olympics. I still can't do that sort of crazy stuff. All right. Did you pause it? Are you back? All right. So you know how fast Kaz shoots his arrows. Kaz is a pretty quick archer. First, we have to discover what is the constant. The constant is discovered using the equation of 22 divided by 4. And that gives us our constant of 5. So in other words, in this, our arrows is our, our y value. And time is our x value. It would look like this if I were to draw it out in a table. Time is our x value, arrows are our y value, and we calculated that constant of 5.5. So now I'm going to use the two equations we've talked about, one to discover my x value that is missing, and one to discover the missing y value. My x value is y divided by my constant, so 50 divided by 5.5. And that gives me 
that x is equal to 9.90 nine zero nine zero nine zero repeated nine point zero nine zero nine zero nine repeated or about nine point one what does that tell us that tells us that Kaz would shoot 50 arrows in nine point one minutes the next part we have to solve is for our y value y is equal to our constant times our x value so in this case 5.5 .5 times 1, which gives us 5.5. .5. That tells us that Kaz is shooting 5.5 .5 arrows per minute. That is the unit rate. And the unit rate is the same as the constant. <laughs> Mind blown. Maybe you already figured that out. But that's a really neat thing to take a look at. The unit rate, the arrows per minute, is also the same as the constant. Oh my goodness, math just gets more and more fun every day, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and finish this up. So our constant is called k for some reason. We can calculate x using x is equal to y divided by k, y is equal to k times x, and k is equal to y divided by x. Those are the three equations that you'll need to use for any constant question. Make sure to keep your mind awake for those word problems that will be thrown at you. I hope that this lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.